Well, uh, hello folks, it's Jacob coming to you from the Dallas Open Micer YouTube channel um, with, uh, well, a celebration of uh, the funniest comic in Dallas, round one. Um, now, uh, I uh, I had a, a an amazing time on uh, August 22nd in the round one competition, and uh, boy did I boy did I appreciate that night. Uh, what a fine night! Uh, because uh, well, the afternoon um, leading up to it, let's see, was just awful. Um, I uh, had a doctor's appointment on the way to the competition, and uh, oh, it did not get off to a good start. Um, in the, in the waiting room, they were playing Green Day, um, and I don't know if that's a bad omen, um, but uh, at, at the very least, it was a, it was you know just one of a string of un unpleasant experiences that I had that afternoon. Um, then when I was in the uh, examination room waiting um, for uh, what I was dreading, um, I, uh, I, had, uh, well, I had my pen in my pocket. I was wearing a comedy promo video shirt number one of three. This is number number three of three. The uh, the one that's uh, no, it's in a size that's too large. Uh, but uh, you know, I enjoyed comedy promo video shirt number one and two so much that uh, you know, I saw this one on the clearance rack at a at a, a price where they were just giving it away. Um, I I couldn't resist, and it's it is very very roomy. Um, now, uh, you know, unfortunately, this is, uh, well, I'll, I'll get to it in just a moment, but, uh, um, well, I was just going to say, I don't, I don't like tight shirts, um, you know, even if I uh, had a hard chiseled body, I, I, I don't think I would be wearing tight shirts to, uh, to show off my superior physique. Um, I, I don't like fabric clinging to the skin, um, rubbing against me. I like to have a little bit of separation and some, some room for air to move. And I also, you know, I wouldn't want to come across as a douchebag. Um, as I, I, I reject that uh, sort of uh, mindset. But uh, anyway, back to the story. Um, I was uh, waiting in the, uh, in the examination room and I had a pen in my pocket. Like I, like I have now, but this pen I had, it was a brush pen. I was using it to make some notes in my, in, in my comedy journal. And, uh, well, while I was reclining on the, uh, on the examination table, the cap popped off the pen and the pen fell into my pocket and, uh, that brush went to work. Now, the brush pen, it, uh, look what it did. heartbreaking. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out. Um, now, uh, that's, you know, just the, the tip of the iceberg. The news I got from the doctor, I'm not going to go into it, but um, not not what I was hoping for. Uh, nothing life-threatening, just uh, got some unpleasant experiences to look forward to and uh, some, some you know, medical bills that I would uh, prefer not to receive. Um, but, uh, um, per, you know, maybe maybe it'll build character and, and make me a stronger person down the line. So, uh, you know, please, uh, please no sympathy. Um, re respect my privacy. <laughs> but uh, I just, just wanted to let you know that I was not having a good time uh, before going to the uh, Funniest Comic in, in Texas competition. And, uh, you know, they say that uh, laughter is the best medicine. And I, I, I laughed that night, but uh, um, I got to tell you, it did, it did not heal me. Um, but uh, boy, am I glad I, I, I got out. Um, now, it was just a, a marvelous night. Now, you might say, Jacob, um, are you sure you're clear thinking? You know, perhaps, you know, it was only marvelous by comparison, you know, because uh, you were having such a bad afternoon that Perhaps even a mediocre night would, would seem wonderful by comparison. And uh, I understand, but I think I was clear, clear headed enough to, uh, to appreciate the evening for the, uh, well, the wonderful thing that it was. Now, uh, 
I, uh, I did not advance to the finals, but uh, I'm okay with that. See, I, uh, I, well, I did this thing that I do in, in the competitions where I'm doing well and uh, I have the audience in the palm of my hand. They love me. And then I then I get self-indulgent and I say something that I want to say and the audience, uh, rather than me having in them in the palm of their hand, they have me in the palm of their hand and they drop me in disgust or they, they withdraw in horror or uh, they, they look at me with, I don't know how to act out with my hand, uh, eyes of blank indifference. Um, I, I win them back, um, but uh, in, in a competition like we had on the on August twenty second, um, you know, twenty twenty three, um, perfection was demanded of me, and uh, I, I did not give perfection, and uh, I uh, I was very pleased that the uh, the level of competition was so good that uh, you know. Um, less than perfection was not gonna be um, good enough to advance. See, I, I'm reminded of uh, Rocky III, um, and uh, there was uh, um, this plot uh, in, in Rocky III where Rocky found out that uh, the reason why he was winning um, was because uh, Mickey, his manager and trainer, had been, had been setting him up against soft, opponents and uh, so Rocky realized that uh, you know after after reaching the point where he needed to, so retirement was long overdue that uh, well his legacy was tainted uh, because uh, because he had been facing weak competition um, of course that that was bad script writing because it, it threw the Mickey character under the bus um, when they they could have found it another way to uh, drive the plot forward and, and set up the fight with Mr. T, uh, but uh, you know that's why Rocky Three is not as good as the original Rocky. One of the reasons why it's not as good, but uh, you know I I would uh, I would hate to look back on uh, on August twenty second, twenty twenty three, and and find out you know hey yeah I advanced that night, but. I only advanced because I had weak competition who uh, who didn't bring out the best in me. Um, so, uh, boy, do I appreciate the uh, the competition, uh, funniest comic competition uh, that uh, Sean Trainer put together. He uh, he brought out some uh, some uh, real uh, monsters of comedy um, where uh, you know uh, there there was uh, there was no room for weakness and. Uh, I, I am happy to have been defeated by uh, all great comics who uh, delivered uh, great sets. And uh, I'll be watching on uh, Sunday, um, August 27th, from the audience. And uh, look forward to seeing uh, what uh, what's going to go down. Because, uh, you know, somebody, somebody that's very good is going to win this thing and then so someone some some ones plural um, that are very good is going to walk away a loser but uh, but what will what will happen um, is uh, we'll uh, we'll get to see that uh, well um, Dallas Texas uh, when people look back on 2023 and say hey that that uh, Texas comedy um, at that time sure was something special. There's something special going on in Texas in 2023 in the comedy scene, and um, we won't be talking about Austin. We'll be talking about Dallas, um, where uh, you know the uh, the unique voices um, are able to to shine and be celebrated. Uh, not uh, no one's going to be uh, you know. Uh, gravitating to the gutter and walking away with this this prized uh, trophy on the 27th in Dallas uh, it's it's gonna be somebody who uh, who was excellent and uh, elevates the art of comedy uh, and uh, will uh, will go on to uh, make uh, 
comedy in this uh, world a better place. I'm, uh, I'm not laying it on too thick. Um, I'm uh, deadly serious about this. As uh, I swear as sure as I blink my eyes that uh, I'm telling you the truth. I, uh, I look forward to uh, watching uh, an amazing night of comedy on August 27th at the Plano House of Comedy. If, if you don't have your ticket yet and you still have a chance to get out there, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, you'll appreciate yourself for, uh, for the timeless gift that uh, you know, will uh, you know, reward you over and over again throughout the course of your lifetime as you look back and say, yeah, I'm so glad I didn't stay at home that night. Um, I, I, I'm so glad that uh, I, uh, I made the right choice. Well, uh, thank you folks, this is a pleasure, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, reporting back to you uh, again soon.